And now, ladies and gentlemen, from St. Martin, St. Martin, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Who's <laughs> run the pull of shove in a demand? 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and gold trim, weighing 147 pounds. He brings into the ring an outstanding professional record of 33 victories, 22 by knockout with only one defeat. He's ranked number 10 in the world by the World Boxing Association. Ladies and gentlemen, from Pensacola, Florida, introducing the challenger, Cool Vince And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the gold, red, and green, and also weighing 147 pounds. A perfect professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 27 by knockout. He comes to us from Accra, Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, Ike Bazooka. Okay, remember the instruction, the glove. Corner out. Jim, Hurricane Lewis was so Second fierce road. that it actually stripped the Second bark road. of thousands of trees here in St. Martin. If I Corte can strip the bark off Vince Phillips, we'll know he's something fierce. And you heard Phillips' longtime buddy and running mate, Kennedy McKinney, standing behind and screaming, New World Champ, New World Champ, during Buffer's introductions. Vince Phillips says he got into boxing because at age 17 he had a dream that he was fighting for the championship of the world. He never saw the end of the dream and hopes to see it tonight. Phillips starting out as the aggressor. He's landed a couple of jabs. Partey likes to keep his hands high and counter with hard punches when his opponent attacks. Uh, Partey got a good left jab. And you see guys with left jabs in the boxing business, they seem to have a long life. Keep that left hand working when you can't do anything else. Finally, the whole world opens up to you. George, they like to say a puncher's puncher will lean into the left hook and turn the right hand over, and Quarte does both. He's got it all, but he works everything, comes from behind this quality left jab. And that jab will bust you up. Vince has got a hard job because not only do you win, you got to go out there and dethrone a good boxer. And dethroning a champion takes more than just your normal skills. You got to got to put in a little more. Well, Vince Phillips will bring the activity level necessary to give him a chance at having the initiative. As Larry told you, in some fights, he's thrown 100 punches per round, and he's come out hot tonight. Down goes Phillips off a right hand by Corte. But the referee has ruled that it was not a knockdown. I don't know about that. I don't either. He might have hit him on the very top of the head and caught him off balance. We'll get a look between rounds. What do you think, George? Well, the main thing is uh, Vince Phillips, he, he established that he has a good right hand. And I think the right hand that he landed earlier was by far better than the right hand Corte landed. that Corte landed. I got you. Yeah, but Corte takes a great punch. He's a great looking fighter in there in terms of how he's made, how he's built. Very strong. We see the replay between rounds. We'll get an opinion from George Foreman as to whether that was really a knockdown. Maybe the referee was ruling that Quarte was on his foot. Sometimes you have to look at the boxer. Did he start to retreat Vince after the knockdown, or did he get up and get right back in motion? That tells you a lot more about the effects of the punch. Another good right hand counter inside by Corte. Vince Phillips keeps coming.
Good, tough round. As we go to Ike Cortez's corner, where they speak French, our interpreter will be Freddie Asipo. I'll tell you that you're doing. You're waiting just a little bit too long, okay? We're getting hit with a few shots, okay, here and there. You gotta keep the hands up and quit waiting, okay? Once you pop the jab, drop the right hand. You waited on the right hand quite a few times, okay? Let them go, baby. How you feeling? I dig on the inside, baby. Dig, dig, dig. All right, Larry, here's a look at. Let's answer the, see if we can answer the question on this knockdown from the overhead. It looked like he hit him on the shoulder. I don't know if you can get a knockdown from hitting a guy on the shoulder. It looked like a glancing blow on the shoulder. Did not hit him flush. <laughs> it looks like a slip to me. The guy's off balance and a punch was thrown at the same time. But then I don't see quite as well as I used to. Oh, I think you're doing pretty well, George. <laughs> well, the important thing is the referee got it right. Ruled it a slip. So no official knockdown. Forte landed 60% of his punches in the first round, according to punch stat numbers. A mark of his technical excellence. On the other hand, Phillips threw 115 blows in round one. But Vince Phillips' corner told him right. He said, you got to dig in, get into that body, dig in. You want to dethrone a champion, you just can't sit back and box. You got to dig in. Phillips believes if he can attack Corte effectively, he can make the Ghanaian cover up and then go to the body. So far, Corte's been countering rather than covering up. And if Vince wanted to dethrone him, he's got to throw your punches and stay in there. Vince has an, a, a, a bad habit of after he delivers a good punch, he leans back on his right foot. He's able to get caught by the longer, taller Ike. Another good right hand counter coming underneath by Quarte. Vince Phillips just keeps on throwing. This is a big ring, about 22 feet, but they need about eight feet of it. Phillips snapping Forte's head up with the uppercut, and Forte again backs Phillips up with a hard right hand. This is world-class back and forthing, folks. Been established, Philip has that he's going to get hit after he throw, he lands his 99 punches, so to speak. Ike is going to come back. Now, once you Vince, once he lands his punches, he's got to just keep his body in motion forward. Don't lean back because he's going to return some punches sooner or later. Ike is. And Corte shows that remarkable capacity, George, to keep his eyes open inside and see every opportunity. Makes for remarkably accurate punching, and that's what he's been able to do in the first two rounds. Interpreter here in this corner is Freddy Asifo. Okay, make sure, make sure you can hit him, okay? Make sure you hit him all the time. Keep the jabs fluid all the time. Take your time. He has felt the power. He knows how much power you have in your jabs. And stability your jab, stay inside and cut off the ring. You gotta stay with him. And, and anytime he, he goes backwards, follow him. All right. Mouthpiece, okay, baby. How you feeling? How you feeling? Take it down, take it down. All right, wait a minute. Let's get that answer back over. Let's get it in your body. You gotta dig your body. You got him here, you got him there. Let's give me some hips, okay? Let's give me some hips. I don't care about that. Work, baby, let's work. All right. 
So far, this fight has been almost good enough to get on our Boxing at the Dark series, Jim. <laughs> Here's an astonishing punch stat number, guys. Phillips was only warming up when he threw 115 punches in round one. He threw 129 of them in round two. So in two rounds, he's thrown nearly 250 punches. Hard to believe that a guy could keep that up over a 12-round period. Hard to believe the other guy's got enough time to counter between those punches, but he has. And Phillips's right eye appears to be swelling. He's got a little mouse coming up under the right eye, and that's been a big problem for him in the past. He's been cut over the left eye several times, Jim. And also, he trained with a flak jacket for a couple of weeks because of a blow in the left side of his body during training. So he appears vulnerable there, but so far we haven't seen that. But win or lose, Quarte's gonna know he's been in a fight tonight. Vince Phillips just keeps coming, George. The thing about Quarte, no matter what happens, he comes back with this great left jab right on the side of the face of Vince Phillips. And believe me, as the fight go on, this is not what you want to happen to a challenger. I would tell Vince to get the close distance and keep that distance. Don't back away at all, just stay right on him. Take the jab away, you're saying. Yeah, you just stay right on him. Whenever you throw a punch, scoot a little closer. Throw another punch, scoot a bit more closer. Don't back away. Well, Phillips does seem to be shortening the range just a little bit here in round three. Forte remains very calm, continues to see every opportunity and counter effectively. Vince is able to deal with everything that I throw but that left jail. And he and hasn't Phillips, recovered yet. And hasn't stopped wobbling yet, but he will in a minute because he's not going to last long. This is over. This is over. And Ike Corte, with a brilliant technical performance, takes out Vince Phillips in less than three rounds, although Phillips was given it everything he had. Well, Phillips waited all of his... Larry Merchant's early commentary sums the whole thing up. And that is... Well, maybe he may have wasted too much early on in his life. And the fact is, can he come back and give it all now? Yeah, he had a chance to be a champion, everyone thought. But during that period when you get your shot, and you don't often get two shots, he blew it. And he tried as hard as he could to come back and make it happen tonight, but it's too late even with too much, not too little, because he tried as hard as any man can be expected to. I paid more attention to that commentary than anything. All right, let's take a look back at the uh, action that brought the conclusion of the bout in the third round, and uh, what a display of precise punching by Corte. When you talk about a young fighter, lands one punch, doesn't dive in and lose his balance, he stands there, measures, one punch, then another punch. Accurate. When you have that kind of accuracy, it's hard to recover. Yeah, even as he had to vary his footwork and chase Phillips across the ring, he was still landing the punches flush. That's true, and there's another view. He knows when he's on the right side. The referee did a fine job. He was watching this all the time. Talk about accurate punching, George. According to punch stat numbers, Forte threw 98 power punches in the three rounds and landed 75% of them. Now, this is the end of the bout. And Forte, by this time, was in danger of badly hurting Vince Phillips, so it was a good stoppage. Right there. Merciful stoppage by referee Julio Cesar Alvaraldo. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Julio Cesar Alvarado calls a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 
31 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory and still the undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, Bazooka.